put the guns down. People are dying for absolutely no reason at all. Pleading with the people of his city to stop the violence. This is numbers trend in the right direction. Earlier this month, Saginaw saw a surge in violence, prompting a call to action from local and state leaders. Thanks for watching the news at five tonight. I'm David Custer. Meg is on assignment and will join us in just a bit. In recent weeks, sirens have gone silent. Saginaw's police chief tells TV 5's James Felton, even though violent crime has gone down, it's not enough. In the last, I think, 12 days, we've only had one shooting um, here in the city. And that individual ended up shooting himself as he was pulling his gun out of his, his waistband. That's the news Saginaw Police Chief Robert Ruth shared with residents at today's Neighborhood Association Action Group meeting. Ruth said overall crime is slightly down from a year ago, but there's still too much violence in the streets. We shouldn't be at this point. People should get along better. There's, there's just senseless acts of crime that are taking place, and people are ended up, ended up getting shot and or murdered for no reason at all. On August 5th, local law enforcement and community leaders held a press conference aimed at trying to slow down a recent uptick in crime. There has only been one shooting in Saginaw since. I credit everything. It's a prayer from the, the clergy all the way down to the just the people in the neighborhoods talking to their children, telling them to put the guns down. Ruth also tells us his officers are making plenty of arrests and seizing lots of guns. And he says more arrests are happening soon. Ruth Ruth says it's all part of the effort to prevent the loss of lives, especially young people. All the parents are going to have is a memory. It's all they're going to have. And the parents shouldn't have that. People have got to learn to put the guns down so that we, we can have less crime in, in Saginaw. Reporting in Saginaw, James Felton, WNEM TV5.